I didn't know whether to call this uh, video hanging a bow stand or a fat boy in the summer. <laughs> either, either one, both of them are true. Uh, I just got through putting this uh, lock on, on this oak tree in this uh, little creek bottom here on a hunting lease that, that uh, my wife and I are uh, members of. Uh, we just bow hunt, so hanging these lock-ons is routine for me. Uh, just got it hung. I, I've still got to trim some limbs, and then I'll be through with this setup. But uh, I'm out here by myself. It's not the wisest thing to do. It was the only option I had. But I, it, in doing that, I, I, I do everything as, as slowly and carefully as I can just to just to keep something silly from happening. Um, uh, Handy-dandy uh, safety hunter safety vest. Uh, you can see the lifeline up there hooked to the tree. Um, before I get this, the lifeline hooked up, I've got a, the lineman strap around the tree is, that I use hanging the, uh, the, the steps on the way up. And then when I get up here, I quickly you know, put the lifeline on. It's the, it's the ground to stand lifeline. That's all my wife and I use. Um, we hook on them at the bottom and, and leave them hooked on to the whole hunt until we get back down. Uh, they don't get in the way. Any, anybody that doesn't do that, I, I, I question your sanity. <laughs> you know, so if they're, you know, they're $29 plus the vest, uh, get, get them and put them on every stand. They're, they're, they're definitely worth it. Um, I got two bow hooks, as you can see up there. I'm big on bow hooks. I don't like holding uh, any of my gear. I don't think anybody that's that's serious about bow hunting from October to the end of January wants to hold on to their gear, so they got bow hooks. I, I got one on the right side of the tree, one on the left side. Not because I carry a lot of gear, I have everything in my pockets other than in my bow and quiver. Uh, but my wife's left-handed, so she likes to hook on the other side of the tree. So I've got one on both sides of the tree to accommodate uh, to accommodate her. I can go either way where I hang the, the bow because I'm usually standing most of the time. I'm kind of a big boy, for those of you that don't, don't know me. Uh, so, you know, I, I take great care to make sure I've got um, steps that come up past the base of the stand so that I can easily, my wife and I can easily climb up and step onto the stand and not have to be a world-class gymnast to hurl ourselves onto the platform. So I use probably an extra couple of steps just to have, keep them close together so you don't have to stretch going up or coming down, especially when it's cold and muddy and you're tired and it's dark. You don't want to have to be feeling around where the step is when you're on your way down. So I, I buy a couple extra uh, sets of them so I have plenty and I keep them keep the steps close together. The base of this platform on this particular stand is probably 18, 19 feet. Uh, so the seat is, you know, 20 feet, which is plenty high enough for where I, where I am in this, uh, in this creek bottom. There's, there's going to be plenty of cover. Um, I got to cut a lot of limbs anyway, uh, as a matter of fact, but uh, do the things to keep yourself safe. All it takes is one in a thousand foul ups uh, to, you know, to, to ruin, ruin your family's life, ruin your life and your family's life. So do the things to stay safe. I'm kind of a big guy, so uh, I'm, I'm real fond of these Millennium 150s. I don't get anything uh, from Millennium by by saying that on this video. I just use them because I, I think they're the best stands. Uh, they're, they're, they got a big platform. They've got the uh, the completely silent fold down uh, seat with the back. They, the big platform makes it easy to bow hunt because you're, you, you've got room to, to get your feet situated and not always be standing right on the ragged, ragged edge of disaster. So Anyway, I gotta go down and get my clippers, haul those up. Oh, I'll haul them up on my handy dandy little bow tow line. I, I don't carry the bow up when I'm climbing up these steps. I hang it on a line and pull it up. And um, I'll use that to pull my uh, uh, clippers and uh, who uh, who y'all or whoey man, whatever it is, saw. Uh, I don't get anything from them either, but I don't know how you, you bow hunt without having one of those expandable uh, saws to cut limbs. But anyway, let me get limbs cut and this stand will be set. I hope you're getting in the woods pretty quick, taking care of your business, and we look forward to a great fall, and hopefully we'll have some, some great pictures and great videos to share of some fun hunts. So take care.